everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have two guests on my channel here. Didi Bean, Laura the Camel Chica, and we are the Tres, Tres Amigas. Amigas. Today's topic is going to be three luxury or contemporary items that I won't buy no matter what the hype is. And I have a few, but today we are just gonna talk about three. So, um, do you want to go first? Sure, I let's, start. let's let you go okay. first because usually you go last. <laughs> <laughs> I've been ordering so I'm like, let's let's go with you first. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I, okay, I have a few. So let me um, start with the first one. Is um, it's called the, the Lolo Piano bag, which a lot of people are interested in this handbag because for them it's like another version, kind of like instead of a, the Hermes and the Kelly, mm -hmm. they're oh, going okay. for this handbag, and it has like a zip. So you know the Mini Kelly, of course, you have your little lock and everything, with the flap up, and um, and it has you know the little crossbody strap. So this one, it's kind of like in the, the shape of a of a little Mini Kelly, but it has a zipper. And it comes with a crossbody strap. Little piano. Let me look it up here. Is that the, is that the brand or is that yeah, the name? Yeah, that's the brand. No, that's oh. the brand. Okay, see, look. Okay, so. Lora, L O R A. Lora, L O R O. L O R O. P I X. -O. Oh, okay, it popped right up. Oh, oh okay. I have seen people in yeah. that. I didn't know yeah. that. So a lot of yeah. people are really going for this hand. Okay, so $3,500 this is the extra bag L27. Um, and uh, a lot of people are kind of going for this handbag, you know, in place of like the Ernest Kelly, right? Um, I don't know. I, I guess it's just hyped. For me, it's, it's hyped up. It is very hyped up. It's plain, but... Yeah. Yes, yes. And it's, it's still cute. Yeah. But I, I just... For the, me, I'm for like, the price. Yeah, yeah, for the price, and because you know, I'm a huge gotta be met at a handbag. Oh yeah. So you for would me, rather, so yeah. for me, I'd rather get like the little one that I have, which is the mini doma, that pink one that I, yeah. I showed you. So that one, I think, is a much far better price point, even better than um, this price point for this little piano style. Because the uh, government at a handbag full price was a thousand dollars. And to me, yeah. that one's actually cuter than the one you have there. And it's yeah. just easier to open. I yeah, like and it's easier. The one. And the I mean, it is a double. Oh cute. yeah, yeah, that's the one I yeah. saw. Okay. And the government at a handbag, it's just you just flip it open mm -hmm. and yeah. that's it. And you can get into items. There's no fuss of any yeah. lock. You know, the little like on or Miss Kelly. There's no fuss of these zippers that you have to then yeah. get positioned right so this we can close it up yeah. right. Um, so yeah, so that's my first one that I feel like is very hyped up that I'm not a fan of. Um, then the other one is the Loewe puzzle bags. Get the hype on those! You know, just, I like the puzzle bags. I don't like them. I have to tell you, when I first started YouTube, I thought, oh god, these are so ugly. <laughs> and why would I pay $3,000 for this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm starting to like them. But mm. I don't, every time I go to like Neiman, I'm like, oh, this is cute. I'd rather buy Louis Vuitton instead. Oh. I guess it's not for me. Yeah. 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 Unless it's on super sale. Right. I, and I, I, I get, I just don't get it. Look, in, in our, in, as we say, it's special thing that she said, I don't get it. I yeah. just don't get it. No. And the, the pattern of it and the puzzle of it and just the way the handle is. Um, and I know it comes out in some pretty colors. I've seen it. I saw a pink colors. one. It was yeah. so cute. But yeah, I just, I just don't get the hype of it. And like you say, I think for that price, you could probably yeah. get, you know, do something else. Um, and are they Whatever. even? And I, since I don't, I'm not a fan of it, and I don't like it. I've never researched it to see if any of it could hold its value. It, it is cheaper on the resale market. Yeah, it, it, it does hold its value, but not as much as other luxury yes. items. Right. Like, but. Like the non Fendi baguettes, um, those don't really hold their value. Yeah. So, so with the puzzle bags, that's kind of comparable. Like they'll be about the same. Oh, we know who's been looking at in the same price range. Yeah. Well, I almost bought one. I almost bought a puzzle bag. Yeah. Because because so I almost bought a puzzle bag from from It's Hatred, and he had one. But it, he had the mini, which is the mini's the original one that I wanted, and it was a beautiful like wine color, you know. But I was emailing him. In fact, just like night before last, <laughs> no, I met him first night before last. But since I got the horse bag, which it's a similar similar mm -hmm. shape, 
the openings are different and that one has a zipper uh -huh. and I had trouble like because of my hands yeah. with the horse bag so we decided that if I get one I need to get a medium or a larger one the small the mini the mini is great because I, I do mini bags right yes. because of the opening is not the mini ones don't never have those and they look cute. I mean, they look cute. I'm very self aware. I'll admit the mini one is cute. They look cute, but yeah. I just you just don't. I, I don't want to spend yeah. over. I mean, it's close to three thousand, yeah. right, for the mini? Is it? I don't know. I, yeah, I don't even like know that. because yeah. I'm not as interested. Yes, do you not like? Is it the cuts that you don't like? Yeah. See, I like the cuts. I knew it was going to be the cuts. You don't like the cuts because you might like the more cleaner like the bags. Cuts. I don't like the cuts. See, I, I don't like, like the, the way it's shaped yeah. because the handle is so low to yes. it. Yes. Yeah. And like, is it the hard opening to get in and out? is not. And it can nice. be hard to get in and out. That yeah. that handle is on there, but so I just see. I like the cuts. I knew. I knew. I knew right away that it was the that's cuts the for thing, you. That's the first yeah. thing that I don't like yeah. is the cuts. Yeah. And then the second thing is I don't like that the handle is so low to the bag. Low to the zipper. And then the open of it right because then it's that's kind of I would imagine it would be kind of cumbersome because you have yes. this handle yes. that's right above it and and I just you know but it's so it's so weird because it's so well loved it, it is, is. on it YouTube is. Yes. and yes. it's I mean and so many people had it when I first started and then I kind of started liking it and then when I went to Neiman I was like ooh, but I, I when you compare can't. a brand new one to, yes. to that, yeah. I just can't get myself to buy that yeah. when I can buy something else. Something that's right. that's my thinking. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, exactly. exactly. Even though it's cute. Yeah. Now now that I think it's cute anyways, yeah, right. but now I just I can't do it. I saw I saw uh, Mini Meeks for All and she um, bought a smaller one. I don't know if it yes. was the Mini or a smaller uh -huh. one. Probably the Micro, they have a Micro and, one. And my color. color. Like, oh, the, and, the, and the, the Mobby. 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 Yeah. So I was like, now that's a cute color, but even with it being in that color, I was like, no, no. I still don't like really? it. Yeah. I still didn't like the bag. I was like, a cute color, but I was like, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, and like me, I don't really like squarey type bags. Mm -hmm. You know, I like things with more with more form, free yes. flow stuff. Yeah. But for some reason, and I think it's because of the cuts, mm -hmm. that gives it a little differentness to it, and I like it because it's to me, it's different. Yeah, it's yeah. Different. The other one, my third, would be um, we'll take a minute. God, that was really? actually on my list. I like the Tega Vanetta. <laughs> you know why? Because back in the 90s, I do, the weave of it, right? Because it's, it's all deep. I love the Back weave. in the 90s, really? Kohan, the Kohan shoes, because I love a Kohan uh -huh. shoe. Oh my God, right? I remember the Kohan. And the Kohan shoes used to have a little yes, bit of Yes, my dad weave. used to wear them. <laughs> and so it reminds me of that. And I just don't get, I don't get the hype. I don't like the backs. The only one that I that I think is somewhat, I'll look it up. They do have that a Jody. Mini, it's the little mini one that looks like it could be crossbody. It's a small one. It's a small little Does square. Does it have a knot? Oh, the square. I know exactly what you're talking about. Like they have a pink one. one. That's the only one that is cute that I would think, but it has to be a crossbow. I guess this mini. But look at the price of it. Yeah. That's the See, for $2,100, yeah. I would not pay that. Yeah. You I'm can go to that. DSW and get something similar. But it wouldn't be able to take it. But I'm the, sorry. The, the leather is so soft, though. Have y'all, have y'all, yeah, the leather no, is no. very, very soft. It's very, very soft. Actually, you know, I take that back. I have felt it because we do have a hotel here in Phoenix. Yeah. And I've gone in there and but it's and they get marked right. down. I know these do go yeah, on sale. Yeah, they do. And, and, the, these and the, the, store, the store marks them down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've seen them marked down like at Neiman's and Saks and stuff like that. I have With the sales associates I follow because they post them on Instagram. Yeah. And now, if I got, if I could get a Bottega in good condition, like maybe five hundred dollars, like okay, 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 I consider it, like in this little style. But other than that, I think they're overhyped. I don't like any of this. I don't know. I don't like them. Yeah. And I was done. No bueno. No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> no. But this is the only cute kind of style I like. But max, I would probably pay for that is like five hundred dollars. At a good deal. And it has to be a good, good deal, good like brand new. Yeah. yeah, and like brand new or yeah. like excellent condition or whatever. But other than that. Like, I feel like it's another overhype. Yeah. Those are my three. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. Oh, I disagree on two of them. <laughs> Didi, do you want to go next? I'm sure I can go next. At first I said, y'all, that Didi will buy anything if it's on sale and pre-loved. <laughs> so it was a really hard, hard, to hard topic for me to do at first. But I remembered, though, before I even started YouTube channel, mm -hmm. when I was, you know, just getting right back into it. <laughs> I feel so bad. I was like, 
the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. Mm -hmm. I was like, why the heck am I gonna oh buy God. something that says the those. tote on it? You know, why am I gonna do that? But then I found one that I fell in love with. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought the denim sparkly one, but that wasn't my first one. The first one I bought was the, um, uh, the red one, the red leather. Oh my God, the leather on that bag is it's nice. gorgeous. Yes, it's gorgeous. And the words, the tote isn't so in your face. Mm -hmm. So it was a little bit more muted. subdued, right? Mm -hmm. Muted, yeah. So so when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I have, of course I got it at a really good price too. Then then I got the, the crystal bag. And like that one, just on one side, it doesn't have the tote on it at all. It's just all the crystals. It doesn't have the tote on it. Gosh, I can't remember. Melissa has it, right? Also? So yes. Melissa? Yes. Yes. Melissa also. Uh, Melissa, because she bought one, I bought one. <laughs> I don't know if Winnie bought one, Missy bought one, um, <laughs> and people. several people, and I just like fell in love with the pro the problem with that one is I saw it first and and on the website, and I was like, oh, you know, because I'm a sparkly girl, I love bling bling, yeah. but I was like, okay, yeah. I love that, <laughs> but. It, on the website, it was not really pretty at all. And then Missy did a video, and she showed the bag, and she, you know, the, when the lights hit it and the the camera hit it, it just sparkled. It sparkled, and I was like in love with it. And I went right away. It's I like my Coach Sparkle bag. Yes, I stopped the video and I bought <laughs> it during that video. And it's so funny because when I I put it out on mine. Um, Cash from Five Foot Method. She said, I saw your video with Beauty and I stopped the video and I when I bought it, I said, that's how I bought it because <laughs> it doesn't do justice. The, 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 the website does not do justice at all. And then in person, it's just gorgeous. gorgeous that's gorgeous. definitely like my coach. Yeah. But that was a Mark James. But I'm, 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 uh, I'm definitely a convert to that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. Fun. I mean, I see where I saw where a lot of you guys unboxed it and shared it. And they're I can appreciate them from afar. That's for me. That's yeah, I can appreciate them from, from afar. afar. Yeah, not one I yeah. would add. I, I like. <laughs> well, you know, and, and you know, I think I think too for people who don't want the tote bag written on it. I think you probably would do well because it is very um, constructed very well. It's a very practical bag. It's got the zipper on it, and it's got to keep things contained inside. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it's got a zipper on it. You um, the little flat thing. It has a magnet mm -hmm. on. Not this. Not this mini. But on some of them, they have the, yeah. the the magnet, so the little tail thing doesn't fly around like on some of the bags. Mm -hmm. Or you can tuck the the, the yeah. zipper into the bag. You know, however you want to do it. So there's multiple ways you could do it. So it's very thought out tote bag. You know, it's a very I love thought it. Out. I have yeah. two of the tote bag, yeah. and I yeah. love it. Yeah. I mean, I had to really stop myself because I wanted a lot of them. I still want to get the, because I have a, the small, I would like to get a mini, but I, I do have a small, but I, I, I have the small denim one, but I want the small nude pink leather one. Because oh, the one leathers really are more pretty. muted yes. and you can buy the yes. Oh, yeah, okay. it's beautiful. So definitely, you know, that's, that's just, it's a really good bag. So there's two other ones. It's, um, and it's more, I get, I don't know if this is more of a, a YouTube thing or if it's more of out, out in the, the wild, if it's done, but the Teddy Blake bag. I'm just like not really into the, they're, they're pretty. Oh, yeah. But I'm just like going, well, and it's not that I don't like the indie brands because I bought the horse and that's an indie yeah, brand, sure. you know. It's just that I, I um, it's too close to other bags yeah. and yeah. the price point of it, I'm going, mm, even though everybody says it's a good price point, but I'm like, okay, I could get a Dooney with yes. better, in my opinion, I mean, better leather or, or, you know, a coach bag that I would just be really super in love with. Yes. Than to get You're just that. not in love with it at all. No. no. Yeah. I'm just like, like mm, you know, and I almost fell into the hype. I almost fell into the hype of like, oh, maybe I had to look into it and get it. And then I finally had to say, what did he, do you really even like it? You mm -hmm. know? And it was like, no, not really. I'll tell you um, <clears throat> what I got turned off with about that bag, uh -huh. that brand. The brand? The mine. Is because so many YouTubers. For me, because yes, we are content creators, yeah. but I'm also a viewer, right? right. We're also yes. viewers. Mm -hmm. And we're still watching a lot of our, our favorite content creators um, and then as they come up. And so many content creators were saying, oh, I got to tell you, Blake back, right? Because they were gifted it or whatever right. to talk about it. And so, so many YouTubers got this handbag and they would talk about it, but not one of them like would wear it. Right. Like, 
Because you follow them on Instagram, yeah. and it's like I don't see you carry. It's like they did it for they would they do it for, that, it for that that that. So for me, like, just for yeah. that, just and then you would see them later on selling it off or whatever. Exactly, yeah. they would turn around and then sell it, or like they would, or like maybe maybe they would say that they got rid of it, but you wouldn't ever hear, hear about, about it again. again. Unless they got another one gifted or something. Or, right. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and so for me, I was just like, yeah, no. Yeah. I, they, I lost respect for it. I, yeah. I, you know what I mean? Like, I was just like, yeah, no. Because it's just you're, you're pushing it out and then having people talk about it. But then these content creators are not using that bag. Right. Yeah. And I recently saw that Nordstrom's is selling. Yes. What? Yes, yeah. they are. I saw they them on there. Yeah. I saw that they came oh, and, and, and they're very high. They're very high, they're very high yeah. but they went on sale really quick. Yes. They went on yes. sale really quick. I was shocked. So that was what, that's finished. actually when I said, well, maybe I'll buy it. But I thought, okay, you buying it just because it went on sale, and, mm -hmm. and you know, or are you buying it because you really like it? And it's like, no, I think you're buying it because it's on sale. Because because if it's on sale, y'all, you rather I buy, buy it. Yeah. Yeah. I might buy it. You know, if it's on a good enough sale, I'll buy anything. Yeah. And that's and you know, and then and in the back of my mind, like I remember my mom. Years ago, when she was working at uh, years ago when I was in elementary school, her boss would tell her, Chiquita, he called my mom Chiquita, Chiquita, it's not really a sale if you don't need it. <laughs> and so he would always, because he was very tight with his money. Yeah. Right? He was the business owner, he was very tight with his money. He would always tell my mom, Chiquita, it's not a sale if you don't need it. But in reality, it's true. Yeah, it is. It's true. true. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to think about that because it's like, okay, yeah, I could get it, but am I really going to use it? No, it's going to sit in my closet. Same thing like like the Mark James. They're cute and I yeah. appreciate them from afar. But you Same thing like I told you with certain jeans bags. Yeah. Do I love them? Yes, but I know they're not going to be ones that I use. Compared to what so you already I, have in your no, collection. No, because yeah. I'd rather use other my other, other higher brands, yeah. other brands that I have. And so that's, and I've had to learn to be cautious about that. But yeah, yeah. Same, like, but I, I was shocked when it was on more stuff. Yeah, I laugh because um, I always, my husband and I always have this running joke because I always say, you know how much I saved today? Mm -hmm. He says, well, how much did you spend? I said, no, no, we don't talk about that kind of shopping. <laughs> we don't talk about shopping. I used to do this little this little jingle I made up. Yeah. You know, my granddaughter would sing it with me. We don't talk about shopping. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Because it's like, it's what do, you know, what I saved. It's always about what I saved, not what I spent, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's mm -hmm. all I remember mean about what you were saying about that. But that's hilarious. Well, so, yeah, so that's a Teddy Bay Blake with that one. So the other one, I'm kind of like... Kind of afraid to say this one, because um, there's once again it's a content uh -huh. creator, it's a content creator kind of one thing, yeah. and it really has more to do with the price point for me. Um, but it's the dress of your purse. The, and now it's she's rebranding. It's Melody and her last name, Melody C Melody Celine or Melody something, because she because now everything's going to be coming out with that. Um, I I. I have seen them in person. Jackie's had has one, and so I've seen them up close and in person. And the leather is very good, okay. you know, okay. and and the leather is good, nice and soft, and what have you. So the leather and how they make it and everything is really good. Okay. Now I should have jumped on it when it first came out. So the price points are higher. So it goes with that with your thing with Louis Vuitton, which it goes with my thing with Dooney or Coach. It's like now you're going into a price point where. I could get weight and get a, get a Juni on sale mm -hmm. or something pre-loved or a coach, you know, yeah. or a full price coach that I really want, right. you know. Um, the only one that I have come this close, and I still won't say never, ever, but maybe, only because I think I don't ever be able to afford the real thing is, is um, that the one that looks like the Pikachu. Oh, yes. Okay. Because I love the Pikachu. That one's cute. Man. Okay. But then again, I'm sitting here going, oh, that's one of the other things I don't like about it is that for me, I she they're not they're not a do you know you have that conversation. Is it a do? We had that before. Inspired is it style. an inspired yes. style? Yes. Is it a? It's not a fake because they're not no, she's no. not doing any right. of that. But it's too close for me. Too close because I put the pictures together and. And I don't know, it's just kind of one of those things. Weird, I feel weird, yes. I feel weird. Because somebody who didn't know, because from a far away, especially after seeing your Pikachu, and and from a far away, and, and depending on where, how you were, were holding yours, mm -hmm. I was thinking about that one and I was like, well, it almost looks like the same. And I don't want somebody to see it or I don't want to feel like I'm trying to, um, 
you know, pretend, to, pretend have to have them I don't have. Exactly, exactly. Because um, that's important to me, yeah. you know. Yeah. Not that I think anything's wrong with it or anything. But that's just how you feel. That's just how Everybody I feel, in right. my opinion, is, is that. But I do think that they're good quality, and I think the quality is good, and I just, it, it's just too similar. It's too too similar. Because to, to me, there's, there's brands where they, that they are, um, you know, inspirational right. of another brand but they're not like the exact yeah. you know, kind of thing so that that you know when you get that funny feelings and i'm all about you know, if i yes. get a feeling that's kind of what it is you know what it is yeah. and, I, and it probably goes and it probably stems back to to my my bag trauma when growing up in high school was the fact that the mean girls with that's the jeans, right. you know said so you can't afford it so then all i ever you know i bought the boston bag style, the speedy style mm -hmm. bags, generics or whatever, you know, and that's what I had the whole my whole life. I thought, okay, do I want to go backwards or do I want to go forward? Mm -hmm. And and if I can go forward, it's because sure, uh, a Picatin would probably be the only bag in um, Hermes that I would consider. consider. Um, and definitely it would have to be pre-love, you know, kind of situation. But I'm like, all right, that might, we were talking about, about being retired and maybe yes. doing a one bag of, uh, a year or every mm -hmm. two year. Mm -hmm. It was like, I think I would rather wait and maybe that would come through when we retire and that would be like a retiring gift or something like that. Then to get this, you know, yes. because then I, then I would feel a little bit yeah. different about it, you know, kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah. so sorry. So, anyways, She's with me on two, so it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> okay, with me, so there's three things I just, can't see myself buying um, unless it's a gift or unless it's on super sell is a really expensive luxury um, candle we're paying um, um, like 300 400 dollars for uh, there's a Joe Malone one for 220 which is kind of like on the lower end but I saw one for like 570 I cannot cannot buy that. I just, I, j just the thought of, about spending that or much a candle. money on a candle. candle yeah. Now, if it was on super sale, maybe, but it just, you know, you use it and it burns out and it's gone. I just can't yeah. see yeah. wasting my money. And I used to see a lot of YouTubers purchase the candles and talk about how, you know, wonderful it smelled and they would have like lines of all these different luxury candles i i just cannot fall into the hype of that i it's just crazy to me to spend that amount of money i mean when i go to bath and body i'm looking for the cell you know the cell yes, candles yes, yes. when it's like so much like 13 dollars you know as a special that week i mean i can't well, at first, when you said when you said an expensive candle, I thought, "Ooh, I I will buy an expensive candle because I like the Tyler Tyler candles." You have it, okay. So those are kind of expensive, but those are like twenty five dollars yes, expensive, yeah, yes. not five hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. then the Dolce Cabana one. There's, I mean, that's one fifty to me. That's still a lot oh, for no candle, way. and I You're think that one money. is this small, and it's and they don't even come in a reusable jar. Like once I once you burn yeah. it down, right? That you can't reuse the jar for anything. I mean, what exactly. makes it that price if you right. can't even reuse the jar, or exactly. if it doesn't exactly. say what you know? It's all about like how far, because mm -hmm. they say it, it, you know, how far the throw goes and how yes. long the, the smell, because some of them or whatever. But I'm like, you know. Let's put them side by side so by the time you burn this one and you burn this one, they're going to yeah. burn at the same time. I, I like Bath and Body one and I I'm fine too. with that yeah. and I even buy them on sale so there is yeah. no way. I like, and the, was it the, is it the Yankee Candle? Yankee the Yankee Candle yeah, must like be those. really good. I yeah. like those. And those to me are expensive. <laughs> and yeah. see they are expensive, you got to <laughs> yes. them up, but what I also true I like about Yankee Candles is they do fundraisers. I don't know if they still do, um, but they do fundraisers oh, okay. for nonprofits and things. So they're also giving back to the community. So yeah. I liked it that because we yeah. used to do them for our church CYO. We used to do those, and boy, did we sell a lot of them. We made lots of money for, oh for our goodness. CYO program. Yeah. Well, those. So when you were saying that the, the bougie candles, right? Like a lot of people, they also talk about those diptiques. Oh and yeah. Like, oh, we got the little carousel. Yeah. We have the carousel. And then some of them don't work. They're, they're so stinking price, and I'm thinking because I was like, oh, that's cute. So I go online. I'm thinking. 
thinking, what? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Two hundred and fifty dollars or whatever. Yeah, I was like, and no. I was like, I don't know about no. this. So and so then last year when I did the, the whole like gift blog list or whatever, so yeah. I did gift list, gift list ideas, right? And we had gone to Rockport and I went in there and so they um, had a line that had like a lot of like fun little perfumes and they had advent calendars. So okay. when, I, when I went to look it up, so I thought yeah. that one was cute. They had their own version of their little carousel. That sucker was only like 70 bucks, like 80 bucks. <laughs> and I'm like, now I'll pay that for versus the 200 or 300 whatever it was. Because we went into yeah. Newman's and we yeah. were looking and I'm like, okay, it was cute, but not three hundred dollars cute. Oh right? hell no! I'm so I, I don't, yeah, I don't know who that. I was watching that they they bought one of those and they were using it and it never spin. It, it wouldn't never spin. Spin. They would go like this, or I was going, okay, oh, no to self, I'm not buying okay, that. that. Amazon, but Amazon has them. Yeah. So all you have to do is just go on Amazon and look up candle spinner, and it'll attach to any Anything, little candle, yeah. or you set it underneath the little plate because I yeah. showed those two, and it was and it's a cute little thing. But I'm like, yeah, I'd rather spend like ten dollars and versus hundreds of dollars, and you can put any candle. Yeah. Yeah, on right? it. And I, I want to say Yankee Candle has those too back in they the day. Do. I, I want to say they do. Well, I know that they have the shades. Like you can put a shade oh, on them. Have you seen those? Yeah. So, but I I don't do candles at all anymore because we have the cats now. Mm -hmm. You know, back then we, we didn't have the cats when I used to be all into candles. So now we have the oh. cats. Yeah, because they'll the knock them over. Oh, I see. Oh, they just kind of. I was like, why? Yeah. Because the cats, because the cats will knock, knock them over. That or makes, that or makes they, get curi they get curious. They get curious. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I don't want them to hurt themselves or burn the house down. You know. Okay, that's just a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's your first one. That's that was first, that's that's first. That was a good one. That was a good one. Good one. Yeah. yeah. And my next thing is, is I just can't stand. The texture of lizard bags or croc is it lizard or yeah. crocodile bags? Oh, I do not want to have anything to do with that. If it's real, I don't mind if it's maybe fake, but I yeah, yeah embossed. Like but embossed, yeah, yes, actually. I don't want real lizard or crocodile. So what about snake? No snake. It's it, that that's disgusting to me. Um, so if it's even Louis Vuitton, Hermes, whatever, I don't want to have anything to do with it unless maybe it's just a little tag off to the side that I don't oh, have to touch. Yeah. Yes, it could be, yeah. Yes. If it's a little accent, that's fine, but no handle, you know, nothing on the, I mean, I don't want the bag made out of it. Um, and even though I know Hermes has a, um, I think it's a, Birkin that's made out of oh, yeah. lizard. I, I know that was like a big hype yeah. a couple years ago and every time I saw it, I, it just grossed me out. Mm -hmm. So when someone thought it was beautiful, I was They're literally, yes, I was literally grossed out by it. Yeah. And that's how I felt with a couple of the ones uh, that's been on YouTube from Louis Vuitton and it just... Because would somebody literally, like if there's a lizard or a snake, would you want to touch it? No. If you it's know? on my boots or my purse, yes. <laughs> so I'll pass on that. You get the boot thing. You get the boot thing? Because I, uh, I think men wearing boots are sexy. Yeah. Yes. Men yeah. wearing boots are sexy. So if it's like croc kind of boot. Alligator like, boots. Yeah, yeah, I've never been. Yeah. I, I don't want to hold it. I'd be nice, but yeah. I, I, have, I, a rig, I, I have a Ricky that's, that's a... That's a is it lizard? It's a, it's an exotic, but they do have a lot of. Um, it has a lot of, um, you know, the stuff that they put on top, like the coating, protect the coating, coating. Coating. Protect oh, the coating. okay, because to protect it. But you can't feel, feel the scale. But you can feel the scales, and the scales are no, cold. No, no, no. Now, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't see, care I, I, how I, expensive yeah. the bag is. Yeah. I don't care. That hype is down for me. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sure there are a lot of animal lovers out there that, that are I don't on your love side. Those, though. That are on your <laughs> side. But yeah, but that's not the reason that no, you don't like them. They just they gross you out. Yeah. See, and I, I like them. As long as they're soft, you know, as long as they've been processed and they're soft, you know, I, I like And it's it. funny when they're like, oh, I got this Louis Vuitton and it's exotic. And I'm like, oh, oh like the, God. The ostrich, I'm like, that looks like a boil oh. on a butt. Okay. <laughs> it depends on, like, I just, 
because okay. it looks so I, gross. I would do it the same way, but the light the light colors, I don't like the light colors. It looks weird, right? Right. The light mm -hmm. colors like like a, a it's more accentuated. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But if it's if it's a colored bag like a purple or a black even a deep that I, yes. right, deep color, I'm okay with those. The ostriches are so like the cappuccino, there is a stingray one, oh, and yeah. someone got it. I can't remember who it was, and I'm like, no, I can't do that. Do you even watch the video, or you have to turn away? Oh no, I can. I, you can I can watch, watch the video. it. Okay. I just, it's just, I wouldn't. I mean, and then the price is so expensive yeah, yeah, yeah. that the I'm, only way I would take it is if it's like if you give it to me. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. And they're and they're actually it's very difficult to, to travel with those. You can't travel. It's hard. Right. I really recommend that you don't travel out of country with those because sometimes yeah. they may not, you may not be able to get into another country. And if you don't have the right paperwork, even coming back into to the United States, they could take it away from you. So it's yeah, yeah. That's not, definitely not. Yeah. A I'm not bougie enough to be traveling with expensive bags. Like exactly. That. Yeah. I'm I'm bougie, bougie, but not that bougie. bougie. I wouldn't yeah. travel with, with expensive no. bags, but it could make it. You know, if that was your the only bag that you have. Yeah. Bag, but, yeah. I agree. Okay, one, so, one and one. <laughs> <laughs> That's another piece. Okay, so. You got good topics, girl. I know, right? <laughs> and then another one I don't like. And I do have, okay, so I have a Gucci t-shirt and it has like the green G, like G, G. But I don't like the t-shirts that literally spell out Gucci, um, whatever. I mean, in big letters. about it and I would feel really awkward wearing it but I do have like I said one Gucci t-shirt and it just has the green G you know like is that is that it has a line brand on it. or is it just the Gucci any any okay. name brand or yeah. BYSL logo um, or real thing the logo I don't mind just the logo like if it says YSL but for I it's guess YSL, yeah, just yeah the work, YSL the whole is, is not like, I think some people would look at YSL and go, what is that? Yeah. They're not mm -hmm. sure. So it's mainly more like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, mm -hmm. um, probably, Versace, oh, you know, yeah, was, yeah, yeah, more yeah. the older brand that people, people recognize. Not, yeah. Well, I'm with you on there, but not because of the low, I'm with you on there because of the price. Because right. even like Coach, okay? Yes. My essay, he says, look, he sent me a picture and they had, because I bought the duck bag. Um, yes. I have the duck bag. And he says, look, it's a t-shirt with the duck, with the duck. I said, I need it, I need it, I need it. $250, <laughs> $250, no. For a t-shirt? Yeah. No, no. Well, if no. it said it's small, like, Gucci, Versace, and maybe they had yeah, a picture. Yeah. In your, no, yes, no, and it has a no, little bit of, then no. I don't mind, but. See the price? I'm like, not for a t-shirt. No, no, not for a t-shirt. No. Not for a t-shirt. Do some of them are cute? I like, like you said, I could do the logo, but not the full. Not name. the full name. I, I call it Cuckoo Couture because it's Cuckoo Couture. Cuckoo to be spending a lot of money yeah. for it. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, so, I did yeah. go cuckoo over wine. Yeah. <laughs> but it just has a, the little, yeah. yeah. It, it mine has like the. It was the. Remember Chinese New Year, the yeah. tiger. Oh or yeah, the, yeah, yeah. See, so, so cool. see, that was pretty. I though. had to. Yeah. It was just so pretty the yeah. design. Yeah. And then when I bought it, it came with like a material bag with uh -huh. with tigers all over it. Oh, and I so thought, yes. okay, I'm yeah. gonna do then something you could with that. The bag or just something. Yeah. But I was gonna cut it up and maybe make something with it. You know, because I sew a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited. Or I can cut out a piece of it, but it does say Gucci on it. But I can cut out a piece of it and I'm like. Gucci. So I don't know about that either. See, mm -hmm. you could turn that so, really quick into a pillow, just stuff it in there, and you have a nice design. So you know pillow. what? Okay, so you know, the, well, the um, since I go to Julian Gold a lot, right? They had just a denim jacket, just a denim jacket, and you get the spot like they used scarves, so like Chanel scarves, mm -hmm. Gucci scarves, or mess scarves, and they ended up putting it on the back. Oh, I cut see, a portion. Yes. I, I still have the video. It's oh. on my Instagram. But then, and so then what they did was underneath the, underneath the cuff, they put the other they side of the silk too? on the underneath the here. Okay, and see, then they I use the ribbon, nice. and then they use the ribbon of the yeah. Hermes ribbon, like around like really, really cool. Cause I was like, damn, that is actually a really cool idea. So if you use the fabric of that to put on the, like on I the back mean, of the jean jacket so or something. I mean, it is so pretty and yeah. it matches yeah. my t-shirt and I'm like, what am I gonna do? And, I, and I've had that t-shirt for about a year. 
and I still haven't done anything with the bag yet. So, no, but so yeah, that's either. that's something that I definitely want to do. Do you wear the t-shirt though? I've worn it twice. twice. I was gonna wear it on this video, you know. <laughs> I, um, I was so busy this week, I completely forgot to pack it, and I was like, oh, look, I'm wearing it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I should have worn it. It's very cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, I wore it in my video. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah. Gigi. Yes. Yeah. But see, that's not bad that you No, because you you're not bad. That bag is a bonus. Yeah. I got over that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm all over that bag. bag. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Yes. See how we how we how we justify the price? Yes. Yes. Justify the purchase. Yeah. Uh huh. I like that. So one. how many is that? I think that was three. Oh, that was three already. So anyways, um, so now question for you. Now, yes. Have there, have there been any bags that we had said no? Like, um, not, that's just so much hype, and then we end up buying it. <sighs> what have I purchased? Well, you know, I haven't bought it, but there was a bag that I was like, I'm never ever gonna, uh, it's so ugly. <laughs> it's so ugly, and it's the Evelyn bag. Oh, yes. Hermes, the Hermes Evelyn, Evelyn bag. Okay, but yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you like it? it. I want one. I want, like, you have oh, one, yeah, and yeah. when I went in there, I was like, that's that's a cute. That's bag. one like that bag one. that yeah. I the regular size and mini. I both. I want yeah. the mini yeah. and then I, I I like the regular, but I would of course I would have to only pick one. And I thought I would buy it too. But that one you would buy. Yeah. yeah. But I don't have anything that I really didn't like mm -hmm. that I purchased that I can think of. Have you bought oh, yeah. one? Have you you have? Have? I have I bought a lot of bags and I was like, there is no way I'm ever like no, there's too much hype or whatever. Um, first one was the Birkin. I oh, thought there was no, oh. I, was like, I always thought like, there's so much hype around this bag. And I was like, and there's just like no, like there's just no way like, and I'm like, where am I gonna go with this? I always thought, where am I gonna go with this bag or whatever, right? And But you get into this whole luxury thing and you, you start to go up from the chain of, you know, yes. you're going up the pyramid of, of brands. And then that's when I was like, okay, well, can I, one, can I afford it and how can I like get it or whatever? Oh, so nice. then I started with the Evelyn and then, um, and um, and so then I ended up getting it off. And that was an easy offer, right? Like David asked for yeah. it and she within a few right. days called us and said, you know, here's, you know, I'm offering this handbag with a very, very minimal mm -hmm. purchase, right? So um, so that was the first one that I ended up thinking to myself, because I would tell them like, I don't like people spend all this money these bags are really good. I don't hang around with fancy, fancy people, people. or whatever. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? I'm not the wife of a lawyer. Or yeah. Lawyer. We're the ladies who lunch kind of a right all right? together. Yeah. yeah. And so, so that was the first one that I remember thinking, there's no way I'm going to ever have one in my collection. You never know. I have one. And then the second one was the Chanel 19. Everybody would always, you know, on YouTube, like, oh my God, this bag is so wonderful. And they would come out in the leathers and they would come out in the tweeds and all that other stuff. And I was like, that chain is just. Chain. I was like, I hate that chain. Like, it's, like, it's so bulky. It's so bikerish. Like, yeah. I was like, it's like bikerish or whatever. Like, it's just the the chain with the, the leather chain, maybe because it, yes, it, it has the chain three different colors. Leather. It just has the leather piece up here. Oh, the okay. Okay. But you have two tones. It's like two tones or three tones. Three of tones. Three tones. Gold. And then so you have the chain. Then the gold chain hanging in the front, and then the chain itself, the strap has the other uh -huh. ones, right? So it's like a tri kind of a color. And I used to look at it, I'm like, I just, I'm like, and everybody talks so highly of this handbag. And, um, and I was just like, there's no way. And I would go in, and then I would, I'm like, is it going to have one? So I would tell her, and she was like, yeah, I have one. So I would go in, I would look at it, I would try it on. And I just don't get the cheese down, get the hype. Like, I just don't understand them. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> until they released the caramel color. And everybody oh, was like, oh, oh my God, God it's got to be, got The gold it. is what the, they call the it. The caramel one, oh, yeah, yeah, the gold one. And um, and so everybody went crazy over that one, and I was like, okay, well it does look pretty in that color, right? And then it went to like, okay, what am I gonna have? <laughs> and so then I ended up I ended up getting it, right? And now yes. and now I regret it. Really, but, really? Mm, mm. I should have not bought it. I don't use that. Color. Why? Is it the color now? No, well, See that color doesn't one, seem like a co a you color. It's not. Okay, yeah. The, but but it okay. It's it's not a color. I, I'm drawn to warm tone colors yeah. because they look pretty. Right. And my husband loves warm colored 
you know, but I'm a cool color right. person. Yeah. And I always went for the pinks and like certain colors and so it didn't, but it looks pretty. Right. Mm -hmm. But yes. it doesn't go with my wardrobe because yes. my wardrobe doesn't need to that. Until I took the stinking, you know, color analysis crap and now like, no, you're a warm. Yeah. And so that is in my family color, but I'm like, but I don't want to have. But that's clothing. not what you. But it's not really what I like and what I normally yeah. wear. But I mean, it's, yeah, there's colors that I see that I'm yeah. like, oh, that's very that that's a pretty color. Like I'm not a brown person, but mm -hmm. there are some. Yeah. There are some browns that, that, that actually they've been coming out lately. Some browns mm -hmm. that I'm like, oh, that is a pretty brown, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And but then I have to think too, will I really wear it? Right. Will I because I like color. Yeah. You know? I, I, yes. Even in even in the fall, it's like. Give me an orange bag, yeah. or give me give me a nice green bag. Yes, yes. Will I wear a brown bag, or even a black bag? I had a no black bag policy because of the animals, you know, because of the cat hair, dog hair, and everything. And then now that I have my own area, and then I went crazy, and I have a lot of black bags, but I don't I don't see myself picking them up. I don't pick them up very often. They're so dark, like right. they're just they're dark. Yes. It's like. It like does something to my personality, you know. Yeah. It just kind of yes. flattens it you out. Yes. But if it has good hardware, like my twenty six, my um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. because I have the Tabby twenty six because it has the gold hardware and it stands it, out. It does. It's got yes. that little pop. Yes. But that's why I don't do the silver too much because it doesn't have that. Zhuzh. Exactly. Like zhuzh to it. Yeah. yeah. But you're right. I, it's not a it's not a color it's not, in my color of yeah. what I normally wear. Yeah. Okay. And so the bag sits there. So the bag. So sits then there. you're regretting. My Hermes Evelyn in gold sits there mm -hmm. because it's in a one. Uh, and we, for excuse me, me, we're gonna go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> and for and everybody is fanatic about, about Hermes this, gold. Yeah. Everybody loves Hermes gold. I don't know if I. Oh, it's oh the gold brown. Yeah, it's, it's the gold brown. Like yes, yeah. Yeah. but and it's very for me the Hermes gold. It, I can appreciate it, but for me it's very rusty. It has a rust kind of an undertone to me where I like other browns like they've got to be in more of like a toffee kind of a color. Yeah, I'm okay. more of a fan of a toffee gotcha. and that's why I like this, this Chanel gold one because it was caramelly toffee right, and it's right, not yeah. as dark as the Hermes gold but it's a warm family and I always went for cooler clothing. So now I'm having to change my color a just to wear that and have a few because things of the for that. Because of the skin yeah. tone and all that other yeah. stuff. So I'm like, well now the can kind of go, but they, but even though there are still bags that just sit yeah. So I do regret getting it exactly. to where, yeah, I regret getting the color. Right. And then the, um, and for me, I can't really wear it short. I can't really wear it crossbody because it sits. Like yeah. That. It's a boot bag. A like boot bag. What you call yeah. a boot bag. Yeah. And especially in the winter with the jacket, it's like it's way up here. Yeah, yeah. Like it sits way yeah. too, too, too And that's when you would wear it. It would be in, in the fall, you know, in the winter time because yeah. that's so, when you have to wear your jacket yeah. or sweater. So yeah. I fell into the damn high from that bag. Yeah. yeah. Well, right. now that you brought that up, Okay, <laughs> so I bought me a Chanel, like three, I think this bag is three years old, and they were talking about how tan, tan was so pretty in this Chanel bag, tan, 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 mm -hmm. or oh God, is it tan? I can't remember what they called it, but it's either tan or caramel, something, mm -hmm. and I saw this Chanel bag, but it was like, Like a metallic it's a metallic, oh, yes. Okay, yes. Okay. So this Chanel is like a metallic color and it was gorgeous. And I thought, you know what? I'm not gonna buy it. I got it at Neiman Marcus. And I told myself, if I still think about it within a week, I'll go get it. So I was still thinking about it and I went to go get it. But I was so hyped up because of YouTube with mm -hmm. that color yeah. mm -hmm. that I ended up getting it and I don't use it as much because of that. Yeah. I mean, I like the bag. I think it's pretty, mm -hmm. but I could have gotten like a pink or something that I know right. that I would love. And it sucks because we paid so I much paid, money. Yes, yeah, yeah, that yeah, bag yeah. was yeah. four thousand yes. something, and I'm. I just, it's just I don't know why. I don't know why. Because of that, I don't use it as much. Even though if I love the Chanel mini bags, because mm -hmm. that's what size it is. And it's a reissue, which I do like, but now that I think about it, I like the CC better. Mm, yeah. But, so there's two things about that bag. 
<laughs> that, that keep you from yeah you yes know. and it's just not something that I use a lot due to the color and because I know what colors I like right that's, yes. and that's and the danger that's of watching of YouTube or being on yes. YouTube or having YouTube yes. friends or whatever I have found I have to find myself to where I have to I don't have very many rules but if, if there's something that, I, that at first in my head I think oh you know, not, not so much, yeah. which that's your natural instinct, you know, that your natural instinct. And then people start talking about it and then you're like, oh, it grows on you and then you get excited and they're excited and they send you pictures and you're like, you know, which is what's happening with the Rowan, the large Rowan for me, you know, you know, we talked about the last time is that I'm going, I think it's beautiful, that large one, but I'm like, I'm having to pull back because I'm like, no, you're, you're going into the hype or you're falling into the hype and then you talk yourself into it. It's different when you're talking about two hundred dollar bag than when you're talking about four thousand, three thousand dollar oh, yeah. bag. And how often, Dee Dee, are you using right now a bag of that size? Exactly. That's, that's my true. thing for you. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That's and that's the other thing for me too. Is that's the because thing of too. your illness. Right. So that's that's right. hard. You go for right. minis. Okay. You go for small ones. Right. And you go and, and yeah. And that's and another thing too. And I can appreciate too. that yeah. one for the farm because mm -hmm. I, I yeah. respect the brand, the coach, and the yeah. heritage, yes. and all of that. But that's where it's like I can I I can learn to appreciate a bag from afar, right? And not right. go into high. So I know I will. And that's that. definitely a bag that I will have to weigh. Like I would have to hold it in my hand, and I would have to visit and hold it because that's not a bag because it's big. And even though people are saying, "Well, I think it's light enough for you," or whatever, I still have to feel it yeah. before the wow. hardware or whatever to yes. see people, since it is on the large side. What's the oh, sorry, that's okay. Is it, is it like 30, 35? The Speedy Thirty, I think, is what it's supposed to be. Right? Yes, it was, yes, because when we yeah. compared it, it's real close yeah. to that size. Well, and you have to, you have to. That helps, is, yeah. and you have to really, and and not so much tambien to where like you say like okay, where I have to see it first, where you have to go to the store and go see it. Mm -hmm. Like when when my um, essay offered me the Birkin, and I was like, it's a thirty five, and which my I don't mind large bags because right. I like to carry stuff with me. Yes, yeah. but I was, but everybody was like, oh yeah, it's a thirty five. You know, a lot of YouTubers don't like too the fact, You know, yeah. it's too big. Do you want a twenty five? You want a thirty? But I know I like to carry some stuff. So, um, so when she said it was that size that was available, David said, "Go into your closet, go into your room, and I want you to bring me back. I want you to bring out here all the bags that you think are large. that size." Yeah, and he was he was bring me all your large bags. And I was like, okay, so I go in there and I bring out, you know, I brought out like about four and he was like, go get your tape measure. And I was measuring <laughs> them and they were 35. Like yeah. they, oh, okay. they were so, so you so yeah. He is. And that's, that's why so I love awesome. him. That's he why did I love that. him for that yeah. because he was like, he remembers things that I have. Like, no, you have that color. No, you don't like the color. But okay. he, he will right away say, you were going to sell that bag. Like, it's like, like, he like, knows this you is pretty. Really yeah. I'm like, look, this is really pretty. He was like, you can buy it, but I know you're going to turn around and resell it because that's not allowed a bag. He's like, that is that's not allowed a yeah. bag. Yeah. And, and he's right. And I hate it when he's right. But like, just like when he hates it when I'm right. Yeah. Now. But he was like, bring me back on those large bags. And so I brought them all out and we had them here on the couch and I was measuring Measure them and them. he was like, he goes, so he goes, you can't tell me that you don't use a bag that's 35 that's centimeters because all that these bags are 35 yeah. centimeters. Well, and see, the, the, the reason I started thinking about it more was because my genie, the, the um, Art Deco one that I have, is a 30. I love that one. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a 30. I, I haven't used it yet, but I could use it. However, it's a canvas bag. So it's lighter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So when you started talking That's about... That's why I love my canvas. I was re-watching the video that we did, and, and I heard you talking about, well, I'm a small person, and I like the lighter bags and everything. And so I really, it's, it's just really started resonating on me. It's like, if I'm gonna go to a bigger bag, all the bigger bags that I have are either canvas or they're, they're yeah. um, cloth, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And it's like, even a light leather, it, it's just not gonna, not gonna do it. You know, it's not gonna do it. And so that's one of the things where like, no, that one I, I've held off, you know. And I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm yeah, yeah. Awesome. I love my uh, Speedy 30, the, mm -hmm. the canvas one. I, I I use it all the time. I have two of them, and I'm I'm literally obsessed with the size. I don't yeah. see anything wrong with it. I I think the 25 is a great size, but then there's times where I'm like, nope, my 30 is yeah. a good size. So I guess it's it depends on what I'm doing that day right. or, yeah. or yeah. how I and feel. See, that for me would be a good yeah. travel bag. That size would be a good travel bag. Yeah. Like we went on a cruise, and I could. How all the stuff that you need to go and mm -hmm. what have you, you know. So, so it would be a good travel bag, but it's like okay, that's three times a year, you know, or that's you know on the weekend mm -hmm. if I go on to the baseball games or what have you, but not if it's in the 
that I don't know. Because it's, yeah. I would imagine it's almost like the same. Because the, the duty that you brought that was the first one that you remember the, the red one, one the yeah. shirt. Yeah. So I would imagine, even though that one is not like say the 30 centimeters, yeah. it looks like yeah. it would be like 25. Yeah, yeah. But I if think you're so. thinking of the construction of it and then that leather versus this one that's a coach that's a 30, so you're yeah. getting a little bit five more centimeters. The weight may be possibly similar, right? right? So yeah. it's a little bit because it's bigger. And so, yeah. and if you don't even carry the duty, not anymore because, because it's heavy. Now, so, now when I only had that bag, when I only had that one and another one, I carried it all the time. I would regret it at the end of the day, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. I've done that where I was stuck with the bag. Yeah. And well, it was crossbody, yeah. and it was so heavy, and my shoulders were hurting, and I would cross it the other yes. way. And, I would be, I mean, it was a long walk and it was just so much. And when I didn't realize I was starting to get fibromyalgia, oh, and when you yeah. have that, everything on your shoulder just hurts so bad. Like, yeah, that's uh, how I feel about the other one. Yeah. So, anyways, are we? Are yeah, that sounds good. This was a good topic, Delina. Yeah. She was a very good yeah, topic. Yeah, this, this was a good yeah. topic. So, anyways, you guys, um, I want to thank you guys for watching our, you know, our Tres Amigas. Um, video and thank my guest over here for <laughs> joining me I'm so excited and also um, I do want to remind everyone to check out uh, Dee Dee's video on 11 28 so her video will be releasing um, Oh, yeah. oh yeah, Thanksgiving yes. Day, Thanksgiving yes. Day. Yes. So, so if you're bored and you don't want to watch the football exactly. with the herb, or while you're cooking, you know, while you're cooking. Or yes. if it's yeah. early in the morning, I don't know yeah. when you're going to release it, they yeah. can lay in bed just for a little bit, yeah. Yeah. or totally. drink coffee and, you know, watch the video. So hers will come out a little bit after mine, two weeks after mine, so mm -hmm. don't forget to uh, look for hers. And um, I do want to bring up that I am going to have a bonus clip after this video so look out for that um it'll be fun and exciting thank you guys for watching my channel as a content creator it is so important for us to grow so don't forget to subscribe to both of them as well this is Didi from Didi Bean <laughs> and Monica Mochica. Yes, so we are the Tres Amigas. You guys have a wonderful week and God bless you. Bye! Bye. <laughs> okay.